Hi, welcome back to The Pulse. Today I'm gonna to talk about you guys and the results you've been reporting back to me and to our community here uh, after taking NMN, after taking, in most cases, along with it, TMG, maybe resveratrol, maybe quercetin, maybe just olive oil, uh, maybe a monthly dose of fisetin. Whatever it is, a lot of results, a lot of comments, and I wanted to discuss some of that with you. I wanted to discuss the poll results and discuss again some of that remaining 20%, who that could be, and you know what steps to take if you fall into that 20%. I've had this channel for a year. I read all the comments. And I had sort of done in my mind a poll. And I sort of realized, well, it's about 80%. And I used this number over and over again. I think last week when I posted a video, I said it was 78%. But later that day, it hit 80. And then I took the poll down because once you announce the poll, you kind of open yourself up to people coming in and just having an agenda. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was, this, it was pretty pure. It was just this group. You know, nobody, it never went on social media or got spread around or, you know, got undermined and uh, really good stuff. And it was reflective of the comments that people had posted already. But as you'll hear as I go on, these things take time to take hold for a lot of people. You might be slight in three months, not notice a lot. And then the next three months, you notice a little more. And then that third three months, it can get pretty amazing. But I want to talk about a component of posters and commenters. I call them the no-no birds. And they're the no-no birds because I say, um, are you taking NMN? No. You know, so they comment something negative. Why don't you try it? No. <laughs> so it's just no, no. <laughs> I, I'm not taking it. I'm not going to try it. So what's your agenda? Just to come up here. And I saw these kinds of posts before in the audio world. You know, we would fall in love with some piece of gear and we would all share our thoughts about it on some audio forum because I spent most of my sales career in the audio world and uh, doing marketing for a company in, uh, based in Europe. I won't go further than that right now, but um, I worked in that field for 14 years and I saw a lot of that. The the Have you tried it? No. Why don't you listen to it? No. <laughs> well, why, what do you base your opinion on if you, if you just know no? But that's okay. Like, I still want to hear from people. And it's perfectly okay to raise your questions and your objections. Because if you're sincere, if you're genuine, maybe eventually you'll read enough from the 80% posts and you'll say, I'll give it a shot. The ones I have a problem with and the ones we have to, we have to clamp down on are the combative comments. Name calling, derogatory comments towards other members and myself, just because we're taking supplements and we're feeling good and we're exercising and we're eating right. And then the combative posts, it's just not, it's not working for people. And it's not just me, it's, it's really not just me because I was leaving a lot of it up. It's other people being afraid to share their stories. So they message me privately and they say, I'm doing really well. So we're getting a ton of people sharing their stories. So many that I started making videos every Sunday. I could actually do these every day because people are posting their stories every day. But I started, I figure, okay, one day a week, we'll do a Sunday short and we'll do NML, NMN viewer stories. And, uh, and so we started doing that a couple weeks ago. And it's starting to lift off and starting to get more views and starting to get other people to comment too, which is kind of the, the, the fun of it. So there's a lot of people commenting, but I know there's more. And there are people that just don't want to enter the fray. They don't have the stomach for the no-no birds, not, you know, the combative ones. Like, it's just not. So there's a reason that we have this community. And there's a reason because we have some synergy among us and we're looking to improve our lives in a wellness, in a, in a wellness manner, and um, and so you could start your own YouTube channel, call it the No No Birds or whatever you want to do, uh, but not combative. The combative No Nos. There you go. Um, but but not here. It's not going to work. Not not anymore. It's been a year. We've had great results. Not only are people like joining the gym. But I'm hearing from people that are now making plans, like myself included. It's, it's not just fitness. You know, it's not just feeling good. It's like, wait a minute, it's been a year. 
Um, that means I'm going to feel this way for two, three, four, five, maybe 10. Who knows? Uh, what am I going to do with all this energy, with all this enthusiasm? So you start making plans. And not just plans that you can't follow up on, but you start following through on plans. I've got a number of things in motion just from all this energy and excitement that I've had. So, and there's a synergy, you know, with other audience members doing the same thing. There's this, I'm getting this from people like Pierre, you know, who I just posted his comment uh, yesterday or day before yesterday um, in, the, in the viewer short, you know, and he's like, I'm, you know, he's 65. And he's making plans, like, I'm going to do some more work. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get out and do this. I'm going to do that. So I'm hearing this. There's, there is this consensus of this. Um, the other thing I've been noticing is the growing list of benefits that people are experiencing. You know, we talk about significant results or significant benefits. So it's like adding, it's adding up. It's okay, more and more people saying similar things, sharing similar synergy to what's going on for me, uh, panic attacks going away, energy increasing, focus is improved, um, vision has cleared up. Uh, maybe not, I still use glasses, but my prescription did go up one notch from my last pair. And now I'm, I'm going to get tested again this year because it's been nine months and I'm noticing that maybe things have changed again. So we'll see if it's better, if it's worse. We'll see when I go in uh, to see my eye doctor again. Uh, but appetite control, you know, weight loss, puffiness around the eyes gone, you know, from this inflammation being reduced, dark circles below the eyes. I have loads of pictures with dark circles. I hated those things. The puffiness I didn't even notice. The wrinkles around the eyes, you notice, but you're, okay, I'm getting older. But those were subsiding. And like I saw some pictures today, I was going through a hard drive and I saw like my forehead eight years ago, it had all these cracks. And now it's got some, but it's more of a chisel than a aged crack look. Other people are saying the same things. Pierre, who I just mentioned, uh, he said his wrinkles have subsided. I mean, it's amazing. Um, lots and lots of people carrying on the story. So if I become a branch of this tree stemming from Dr. Sinclair at Harvard, Vera Gorbanova, um, James Kirkland, Stephen Horvath, if I'm studying them and I become a branch of the messaging, a lot of you guys are becoming branches. I spoke to a friend um, last week, uh, his name's Pete, and he's been on NMN nine months. So the first three months he took it, he took capsules. And he said, yeah, I feel a little better. I think I'll reorder. And I had a little dip when I stopped. Didn't notice much. Three months. I said, why don't you try the powder? I, I think it gets in the bloodstream a little more effectively. But, you know, there's, there's arguments both ways. Why don't you try? So he tries the powder. He saved a little money. And the next three months, like we didn't talk for a while. This is someone I knew outside of the supplement life, right? Outside of the pulse. I've known him for years. We met in an audio event years ago, and I've w done work for him, mastering work for him, and we've just, he's in Ireland, we've kept in touch. So the second three months, and then we, hey, how you doing? What's up? Hey, I'm doing good, man. The NMN, it's really, I'm starting to feel more. So six months now in, I go, that's great, man. He says, yeah, I'm going to keep taking it. I'm ordering again. And he, he's, I checked in with him last week, and he's like, man, I'm doing so good. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, making plans. Now, he's in his 30s, but he was slowing down. He's in his 30s. So you can imagine, I don't even, I, I even told him at, at the get-go, I'm like, I don't know, man, you may be too young for this. I don't know if you're NAD levels. No, nah, I'm dragging. But now he's like making plans. <laughs> it's been nine months. So those of you just getting going, you know, keep that in mind. It's, it, I've improved steadily. Okay, I was in that audience, thankfully, that had an immediate, you know, two-week result where I was like, yeah, this is, this is going good. But it has steadily improved. I'm running faster. I've knocked 10 minutes off my 5K time. I'm getting to balls, lobs over my head, running back and playing tennis and then recovering. I'm getting to drop shots at the net, running there, scooping them out, recovering, doing things I was no way close to doing. I wasn't doing any of that three years ago. None of it. Um, so... Pete's getting results. And then he's, and then Pete tells me, uh, congratulations, you really are on to something. He didn't like, he wasn't talking about the channel. 
He's just like, he knows I'm 20 years older than him. <laughs> He's congratulating me. You really found something. You know, a lot of people find things, but do they actually get results? And it is a, it is a special feeling when you go, it's like Vera Gorbanova said that. It's nice to find something that actually helps people with the CERT-6 activator. But that's how I feel about NMN, you know, and she also discovered hyaluronic acid. I've been taking that. My joints feel great. So if you're having joint pain, maybe that's the one to try. Um, Dean, I met him eight months ago online, started the NMN. Don't keep in touch with him very much. Every few months, you know, better, a little better. Talked to him last week. I talked to a lot of people last week. I'll tell you in why in a second. I talked to, I checked in with a lot of people last week. And I'm like, uh, so, hey, Dean, how's it going? Like, oh, man, I'm doing so great. We got to catch up. I got a lot of NMN stories for you. He's talking about other people. So he's now become a branch in that tree where he's reaching out to his friends and reaching other people, which is just what it's all about. And I get up in the morning. The first thing I do is check the comments. Not because I feel obligated. I do feel obligated to answer your comments and respond and at least read them. You know, if I don't have a response, I at least read them. Um, but it's fun. It's like, of course, I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to check the comments. It's fun to hear from people because the stories that come through, they're just, I read them oftentimes I'll, to my wife. I just say, listen to this. So it's great. You know, it's really, really, really cool. And it's fun. You know, the one thing that Angelina mentioned, the first NMN viewer video story that I did, um, she said depression. She was depressed. And I went, oh, my, oh, my gosh, I was depressed. It's something I haven't even talked about. Or I haven't really thought about because it's not it's not something you share. You know, it's something that you you don't even you don't even recognize it for yourself. You won't even call it that. You just know you're you're in a rut and kind of been down. So I lost a job four years ago. And it took me, and then COVID hit, right when I was starting my next moves. And it was no fault of my own. It wasn't like I, you know, got fired. It was just the owner pissed off the biggest account and lost half of his business, and that was my account. <laughs> so uh, I was on the I was cast aside after 14 years after from working there from 30, age 39 to 53, the prime working years of my life, I had given to this company and invested all that time and end up with nothing. No golden parachute, no nothing. It was my own fault. I should have had some shares. I should have, done, I should have negotiated much better in the front end, but I was passionate about it. I believed in it. And so I had like a three year of depression. And then the NMN came and I started having fun again, you know. And uh, I didn't think about it in those terms because there were all these other symptoms that had improved. But when Angelina shared that, I, it hit me. Wow, this has a role in people suffering from depression, which could, could be caused by partly by inflammation. Obviously, for me, it was a life-altering event that triggered it. But why I didn't bounce back? I'd always bounce back before. You, you hear about people that contract Depression, they become, you know, victims of depression and never get over it. And they spend the rest of their lives in this weaving in and out of taking antidepressants kind of thing. But I, don't, I haven't had to take anything. I got out of it and I feel, I feel like I'm taking something, I'm taking supplements, but I'm also doing a whole protocol, right? So it's the exercise, the eating better, and all of it just builds. I'll say one thing about exercise. I know a lot of people don't want to exercise. I uh, probably should have mentioned this earlier, but there's there's something that exercise does besides just synergistically react with the diet and the dietary supplements that you may or may not be taking. But for me, I feel this sort of completeness, like everything working together. But exercise helps you metabolize and it helps you process these minerals. So if you're taking magnesium, zinc, your body metabolizes those better and amen. So it's important. Be active, get out there, get your heart rate up, because that could also explain either people having some slight benefits or not having or not feeling at all. They're just not triggering that metabolism enough. Bottom line is that comment last week about depression and then at the end of the video with Claudia Glows, where I kind of made this joke of, you know, 
She mentioned male grooming is important and shave your nose hairs if you've got them in your ears. And I sort of implied that she was talking about me. And then I shot some B-roll and put it at the end of the video where I'm like shaving my nose and my ears for fun. I got done with it. And it's the first time I've made one of these videos where I watched a section over and over. And I just laughed every time at myself. How dumb, is, how dumb am I, right? And I was having so much fun that I felt like I'm back. I'm back to the way I felt in my 30s when I was having fun in the audio business. I felt back and I called everyone I was close to. I called my mom, I called my wife, I called my best friends. Um, I reached out to Pete, I reached out to Dean and I reached out to these people just to tell them, you know, not am I, not, I'm not just doing great, but I'm back, you know, I'm back to who I was. I hope more of you have that revelation as well. Let's keep it going.